Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Native. Today we are going to learn how to add full to refresh into your React Native applications using the refresh control. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we have the pull to refresh demo. So scroll down. So here you can see that on the top of that there is a loader and it's refreshing. Then data comes and then render okay so how we are going to implement this into your react native application we are going to learn in this video let's have a look on that before those who haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video please do like share and comment on my video so let's get started so here we have a react and the use state from the react then we have a view scroll view text refresh control style sheet and the safe area from the react native <coughs> then we have a refresh states, refreshing and the set state used to be by default false. On refresh, simulate a refresh option like the fetch new data. So here you can fetch the new data. Set refreshing to be true. Set timeout. You can mention the timeout over here currently and then update your data here. Okay. Then the two seconds I have added over here. Then here we have the component scroll view, content style scroll view, then refresh control. Here we have a component refreshing on refresh. So whenever there is a click on the refresh, customize the ref refresh control over here. So you can mention your colors over here, right? So here, if refreshing takes to be refreshing and the render your content here, then scroll down to that one. Render your content over here. Okay. So your content. So when there is a new data over here, then render their content from here. Then it automatically come over here, right? If you want me to call the API on that note and refresh the data, then do let me know in the comment section, right? So this is how we are able to add the pull to refresh section into your React Native application. Okay. So any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.